It's October 30th, 2023, and it is Apple Announcement Day. I'm hoping for some IMAX. Because these IMAX and the CMAC Edit Lab are getting pretty long in the tooth. Some of them were purchased in like 2017, but some of them are as old as 2013. They're 10 years old. Now we were planning on replacing them in 2020, but then you know what happened then. And then we just kind of waited too long to replace them with M1 IMAX. And we, might, we, fi we figured we might as well wait. And then like the M1 IMAX stuck around for like two years. Uh, so hopefully uh, there's a new IMAX with an M2 chip or even an M3 chip that we can replace those IMAX with. Jeff, what are you most excited to see from this Apple event? Craig. Just Craig Federer. Just Craig. Do you think he'll be in a costume or play a guitar? Dude, I hope so. Both? Maybe both? Ideally. Ideally. And now Tim Cook can't say, good morning. <laughs> He has, to say, he has to say trick or treat. He's gonna come out in the vampire outfit and be like, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Oh. <laughs> Brian, what are you hoping for? <laughs> Not that. Oh, I'm mad. Oh yeah, we got the chart! The chart that means nothing! iMac, 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 iMac Pro, iMac Pro! That's it? That's it! It's over! Oh no, the accessories are still lightning! Thank you, Mark, for your detective work and insight. These tips seem to be just like a yearly thing at this point. Yeah, at what point are we gonna, well, I mean, this is a big jump from like five nanometer to three nanometer. Yeah. And uh, that battery life, that's gonna be cool. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, like when, when we kind of hit terminal velocity on this stuff, but uh, yeah, that was scary fast. That was weird, right? Not, not just me, but what did Apple announce? Okay, they announced 14 inch MacBook Pros with M3, M3 Pro, M3 Max, and then 16 inch MacBook Pros with M3 Pro and M3 Max. I don't think just an M3 model. And then an iMac with an M3, right? That was everything. Yeah, and that, that was it. So who do I think should get what? Now, I'm not getting any of it personally. I got an M2 Pro MacBook Pro uh, when that came out back in January. So a little less than a year, but uh, I, I'm very happy with it still. It still does everything that I need. And even throughout the presentation, it seemed like Apple was really pushing like really high-end stuff, Cinema 4D, I'm guessing After Effects stuff is really gonna tax it. Um, but I don't really do that beyond just editing video. Um, I'm not that great of a uh, motion graphic designer, so I, I'm not, I don't need it. The extra battery life does seem pretty cool and very remarkable. Um, Apple is, definitely known for uh, taking the performance gains from new chips and giving you the same battery life, but with more performance. But these three nanometer chips seem to be uh, offering not only better performance, but also better battery life, which is, which is great. So I think the 14 inch MacBook Pro that's taking over the 13 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar and just the base, M3 chip, that thing's gonna sell like crazy. That's basically like, you're new to Mac, you want a MacBook Pro, you don't necessarily want an Air, you want something with a little more oomph. That's that's gonna be like the computer you're gonna see everywhere soon. And it is only like $100 more than the 15 inch MacBook Air. So the price differential's really, really close. I think college students are gonna get it. Uh, people who need to do a little bit of video editing, like me, but aren't doing a ton of motion graphics or 3D design work. But then the folks that do, that's when you're gonna move up into the M3 Pro and the M3 Max computers. Um, that's, that's gonna be excellent. And then the iMac, that's, that one's a little tougher. You know, it seems like everybody's got a laptop these days. Hardly anyone's got a desktop computer. But in the situations where you do need a desktop computer for like family, use or in the case of like CMAC where we need 
stations where people can work. Uh, th that's going to be great. And it seems like this is just going to take over for the M1 iMac. Uh, so getting double the power is pretty sweet. And it appears that the price is pretty much staying the same. It, it was hard to recommend the iMac, the M1 iMac, two, two years on because Apple doesn't really sell it at a discounted price. Now you could probably pick one up at like big box retailers, but if you were to try to buy one from Apple, it's it was still the same price that it was when it came out in 2021. But now it's nice to be able to like recommend that again. But even then, I think most people are gonna go with the portable machine than something that's tied down to a desk and a power source. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. For folks that need an all-in-one computer, for people who are doing some some video editing, even if it's 4K, uh, it's it's gonna do really well. Even the M1 did really well. So I'm not exactly sure how that fits in for everyone. I know we're gonna need like six or seven of them at CMAC, but for everyone else, it's harder, harder to say. That said, this is my quick reminder that do not buy anything unless you need it. If you don't need it, I needed a new computer, so I bought an M2 Pro back in January, even though I knew that a three nanometer chip was on the horizon, I needed a computer, so I bought one. I'm gonna to continue to use it until I can't anymore, and then I will buy one when I need one. And lastly, the video was really cool. It looked like any of the other pre-recorded Apple presentations, um, but then at the end, they announced that it was filmed on an iPhone and edited on a Mac. Uh, so that's that was pretty remarkable. I wonder if the drone shots were really drone shots or if it was, you know, uh, computer generated imagery of Apple Park. Um, but yeah, the, the talking head stuff, the Apple executives, that was filmed on an iPhone. I assume it was filmed on, uh, on Apple Log uh, because it didn't quite have that like over sharpened look that, that comes right out of an iPhone and, and standard Rec. 709 or Dolby Vision. My guess was was it was Apple Log and, and color graded professionally and not sharpened too much. But uh, yeah, it looked great. And they still had all the Steadicam moves that they're they're known to do. I don't know if it's a Steadicam or a gimbal or um, a camera on a track system, uh, but they, they had the like parallax movement. Looked great. Looked like it was done on a more expensive camera. So that's quite a testament to to the Apple iPhone that I didn't even notice uh, until they said something. So great, I'm gonna like go and pick, pixel peep the, the footage now. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the Apple announcement. I hope that was fun. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.